What's up you guys it's Deep Oi and today we will see how to create this 3D text effect in Photoshop. Now this tutorial was requested by one of our viewers so there you go my friend hope you find it helpful. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours let's get started. So the first thing we will be doing is creating a new document so for that go to file and then select the option as new. After that you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width as around 3840 pixels height as around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create. Now the next thing we will be doing is creating a nice background for our text effect so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient. Now in the pop-up you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you a new pop-up in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option to select the color and then set the color as follows F99A30 and then click on OK and then double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows FFE4B4 and then click on OK after that you can click on OK and then set the style as radial, angle as 90 degree, scale as 150 percent and then make sure you tick this reverse option. So now as you can see our background is almost ready but as you can see there is some banding between the lighter color and the darker color and we need to remove that thing so for that you just need to click on this dither checkbox and the banding will be removed. So as you can see now it is looking proper after that you can click on ok. Now the next thing we will be doing is typing our text so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I'm choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. And then set any appropriate size for your text. I'm setting it to 250 point. And then set the foreground color as black which will be the color of our text and then click on OK. After that you can click on the document and then type in your text. So for this font if you want to type in any swatches then all you need to do is press any number key of your keyboard. So different numbers will give you swatches of different length and you need to find the one that fits for your text. But for this text swatch of number 6 is looking perfect. After that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is place this text at the center of this document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. After that select move tool and then click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of the document. After that make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now the next thing we need to do is convert this text into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. And now the next thing we will be doing is creating an extrusion depth for this text. So for that we need to create a duplicate of this layer. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to bring up the transform tool. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus T. And then we need to move this text to the left by 2 pixels and to the top by 2 pixels. So for that we need to reduce the values of X and Y by 2 pixels each. So let me just do that. And then you can click on the stick icon in order to place the text. Now in order to get a perfect extrusion depth we need to repeat the same steps 30 more times but we won't do it manually and we will create an action for that so for that go to windows and select the option as actions. After that you need to click on create new action icon and then give it any name of your choice and then click on record. Now we need to repeat those same steps in order to record it so let me just do that. Create a duplicate, bring up the transform tool and then reduce 2 pixels from x and y. After that click on the stick icon. So now as you can see now the steps have been recorded. After that you need to click on the name of the action. And then in order to repeat those same steps all you need to do is click on this play button. So now as you can see now the same steps were performed again. After that you need to click on this play button until you reach a count of 31. So let me just do that. So I've stopped after reaching the count of 31. After that you need to hide the 31st layer by clicking on the R icon. And then make the 30th layer active by clicking on it. Now we need to set the color for our depth so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. After that set the blend mode as normal and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 1789BA and then click on ok. 
So now as you can see we have changed the color of our text after that we need to add some curves to the edges of our text so for that select the option as bevel and emboss and then you need to set the values over here as default so for that select the option as reset to default now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss so for that let me just zoom in a little bit into the image so this was the before and now this is after so as you can see it gives such a nice curve to this image after that you can click on ok now let me just make this image fit into the document now we need to add the same styling to all other 29 layers so for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as copy layer style and then make the 29th layer active by clicking on it and then go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the first copy layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between and then right click on any of the selected layers and then select the option as paste layer style so as you can see those layer styles have been pasted to all of the layers and now our text is looking somewhat like this after that you need to go at the top and then make the 31st layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the icon now for this top text we need to set a different kind of color so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as gradient overlay now in the pop-up you need to set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and then click on the gradient icon. Now over here as well we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows 0091D2 and then click on OK. After that double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows E8FDFF and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK and then make sure you tick this reverse option and then set the style as linear, angle as minus 90 degree and then set the scale as 100%. So now as you can see now our text is looking somewhat like this. After that we need to add some shadows in order to make this line look like an edge. So for that select the option as drop shadow and then set the blend mode as overlay, color as black and then click on OK. After that set the opacity to around 50%, set the angle as 135 degree. Make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the distance as 20 pixels, spread as 5% and then set the size to 50 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is give this upper text a depth kind of effect so for that select the option as inner shadow and then set the blend mode as multiply. Click on the color icon and then set the color as follows. 66 b2 b9 and then click on ok after that set the opacity to around 100 percent and then set the angle as 135 degrees and make sure you tick this use global light option after that set the distance as 10 pixels choke as 0 percent and then set the size as 10 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default now let me just show you the before and after of this inner shadow so this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see by adding this inner shadow it gives such a nice depth kind of effect. Now the next thing we need to do is add some strokes. So for that select the option as stroke. And then you need to set the size of the stroke as 3 pixels. Position as outside. Blend mode as normal. Opacity as 100%. And then set the fill type as color. And then click on the color icon. And then set the color as follows. C E F 1 F A. And then click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke. So this was the before. And now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our 3D text is completely ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add some shadows for our 3D text. But before that let's merge all the duplicate text layers into a single group. So for that go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the first copy layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between. After that you can press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus G which will combine all the selected layers into a single group. And then you can rename the group as follows. And then make the original text layer active by clicking on it. Now for the shadows as well we will be creating a new action so for that click on create new action icon and then give any name of your choice and then click on record and then you need to create a duplicate of this original text layer so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then you need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then you need to move this text to right by 2 pixels and to down by 2 pixels so for that we need to increase the value of x and y by 2 pixels so let me just do that and then you need to click on the stick icon in order to place it so now as you can see now the steps have been recorded after that you can stop the recording and then you need to select the shadows action and then you need to play this action until you reach a copy count of 72 so let me just do that So as you can see I stopped at the count of 72, after that we can minimize this actions panel so let me just do that. And then we need to merge all these layers into a single group so for that go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the original text layer. After that press ctrl command on mac plus g and then we can rename this group as shadows. 
After that, we need to create a duplicate of this group. So for that, press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus J. And then we need to hide the original group. So for that, click on the eye icon. And then we need to merge this duplicate group layer into a single layer. So for that, right click on the group layer and then select the option as merge group. After that, we need to change the color of the shadow. So for that, click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. And then set the blend mode as normal and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 04 1319 and then click on OK. After that, you can click on OK. Now we need to add some motion blur to this shadow. So for that, go to filter and then blur and then select the option as motion blur. After that, you need to set the angle as minus 35 degree and then set the distance as 100 pixels. Now, let me just show you the before and after of this motion blur effect. So for that, clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before. And now this is after. After that, you can click on OK. So now as you can see, now our text is completely ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add some outer glow. So for that, press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the text group layer. After that, we need to combine these two selected layers into a single group. So for that, press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus G and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as outer glow. And then you need to set the blend mode as linear dodge, opacity as 30%, click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 008A FF and then click on OK. After that you need to set the technique as softer, spread as 0% and then set the size as 240 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this outer glow effect. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our text is completely ready. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this 3D text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.